All right, so didn't record an intro for this, but um, after the fact, replacing the latch on my C6 Corvette glove box. Um, apparently these are pretty fragile, um, break pretty frequently. Um, mine broke right after I got the car inspected. I was throwing the uh, registration and uh, inspection report back in the glove box and uh, just wouldn't close. So it's been just uh, hold with a piece of woodworking clamp uh, to keep the uh, light on uh, trigger plunger, whatever it is. Uh, hold that closed until I got uh, the part in to, to do the work. So I got it off Amazon, um, pretty inexpensive. And it's, uh, if I do it again, it's probably 45 seconds worth of work. It's, uh, it's a really simple process. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so as I mentioned, latch broken. Apparently it's pretty common. Um, so two screws, uh, T15, and then you'll need to use the key to swap in the new core, or your old core rather. And that's pretty much it. Out with the old, in with the new, just fix style. The one thing I do know is tiny, tiny screws aren't really meant to be that tight. All right, two screws out. Assuming this whole thing just comes out the bottom now. And I say I assume because I honestly don't know. Alright, so out with the old. You can see where mine broke. And yeah. Let's go ahead and get the core out and then put the core in the new one. Uh, you can see with this lip as well as getting caught and not able to get out with one hand, especially when it has really no, no ability to hold itself together. So I'm going to go ahead and get the core swapped over. It's pretty straightforward. Key in, turn, push out from the back, and that's about it. All right, so what we need to do is once we get the key in, we're going to turn the key um, until there's a little tab that's visible in this window. So I'm actually going to turn the latch. And then see now we have that little tab. All we're going to do is take a small screwdriver, um, release that tab, and the core is going to come out. And this is actually a two-hand job, so I'm going to put the phone back down. All right, so this little tab is basically what we need to push down through that access window. So it's basically just a toggle that allows the core to turn all the way. So um, small screwdriver or nail or something like that, um, that will depress it. Let's see if I can get it. Not much to it. Uh, but yeah, just depress that and then with the key continue turning the core until it's out. And then putting it back in is going to be pretty much the inverse. Um, we're going to go ahead and slot it in and spin it until it seats in. All right, and then putting this back in is going to be pretty much uh, rinse and repeat. So we're going to come in from the bottom into that little notch. Then once we're there, now we're in and put those screws back in. So again, two-handed job. It's T15 screws back in. Do not over tighten. This is pretty thin plastic. All right, so now those two screws are back in. Latch works. And now I can close my glove box back up and not have to use the clamp. <laughs> 